Well, this is something completely different. I have made uh, before uh, in a uh, floating tank, but um, this one uh, is actually anybody can do. Uh, I bought the kit for what you see uh, uh, on um, Bamboo's website. And uh, then they let you download uh, three different models. One of them is the, uh, the pyramid, which I wanted. And then it also comes with this touch sensor. So if you touch it, yeah, it changes the light. If you touch it again, it turns it off or makes it into a white light. So there is a yellow light and white light and uh, uh, or no light. And one thing, uh, none of these things are good to use it for a long time because they, they heat up. So be careful uh, not, to, uh, um, not, to, not to use it too long. So I'm going to spin it a little bit faster. Oops. <laughs> and sometimes it takes time to, uh, to put it in the right spot. There we go. Uh, so don't be discouraged. Uh, what I did is I printed one of these. Uh, this comes in two pieces. Uh, uh, this bottom bottom dish and then this piece. And then you snap it together so they both print this way. And uh, then uh, I practice with this thing to levitate. And then uh, after that, I took it and put it inside the... Uh, let me shut it off and let me show you what I'm talking about. So inside, underneath this uh, screw here, because there's this big, big, uh, um, let's call it screw, but it's a screwed in lid. And when you print this, you also get a key uh, that you can, uh, that you can um, screw it a little bit easier than just using a friction of your fingers. Uh, it also comes with a, when you print it, uh, it puts out one foot. But what I did is rather than using these kind of a feet, uh, which that's what that was used for, I put in these little silicone uh, um, uh, silicone uh, uh, feet. And, and they're pretty inexpensive. I buy them on, on Amazon. And, uh, and I didn't use these. And then, as I said, this is the key that... Uh, um, allows you to then unscrew or screw in this uh, um, this this lid. Why don't I just go ahead and unscrew it? So that's how it goes. And then here is the piece that jumps out. Let me go ahead and turn the power back on. And uh, as you can see. It's really difficult to uh, to do it by hand. It just keeps, you know, going all kinds of. Way. So you drop it into this uh, this thing here, and then at one point, there we go. So this thing is now, and you can turn the lights on and off. Uh, now it's floating, and now it's not anymore. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to turn it off. Ah, there we go. All right, so now I'm going to put it back in the pyramid. So that's how the pyramid looks inside. And it goes in this way, Tony. Uh, goes in like that. And now you take the lid and go counterclockwise until uh, it finds the thread. And then just tighten it up pretty good. So we no longer need that or the key. And uh, I'm going to power up. And I, I got pretty good at this. So, and here goes the different lights. And as you can see, it freely spins. How long uh, you can leave it on, I don't know. But I have, I had, I bought two other levitating things from China, and both of them burned up if I left them on 
too long. So uh, I'm just gonna like demo it and then shut it off and and let this thing uh, be like that. So um, that's about it uh, for today. Uh, you have a fantastic day. Give me thumbs up, spread the news, and uh, subscribe to my channel. <laughs> All that good stuff. Have a fantastic day.